And it is really a very crucial day for India and China. Both the countries are going to try to resolve the key impending issues that have been a major bane for relations between the neighbours. Prime Minister Dr. Singh will discuss the border dispute as well as the increasing PLA incursions during his meeting with his Chinese counterpart. And also high on the agenda is of course the Park china nuclear deal. Five months after the Chinese Premier visited Delhi, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh is in Beijing for high-level talks. The big ticket item will be the India-China Border Defence Cooperation Agreement. That will ensure that there is no debt sang in the future. At least it will try to ensure. But there is a strong possibility that these misunderstandings, as the Chinese say, will continue to happen. A new border agreement is likely to prevent another Debsang like face off, but some key thorny issues still linger on. We haven't exchanged the maps of LAC in the western section and in the eastern section, so there will be still some misunderstandings about the, the, the exact locations on the ground about LAC of each other's uh, claimed. Apart from the border dispute, Manmohan Singh will also voice. Delhi's concerns on the diversion of the Brahmaputra waters, stapled visas and the nuclear assistance to Pakistan. The Islamabad issue will certainly come up during talks because India will make it clear to China that this nuclear cooperation is something very difficult to accept because Pakistan is not a safe country for uh, cooperation primarily because there is no certainty that nuclear weapons would not fall into the hands of terrorists. Besides, the economic corridor is also not acceptable to the Indian side. But China, it seems, is unlikely to reconsider its nuclear deal with Pakistan. I would say that India wells expectation, I mean, well, uh, expectation by the IAEA and also their Explores, uh, nuclear explores, uh, you know, group. So I think this is still applies the international norms to define the, our relation between China and Pakistan so regarding the nuclear, uh, you know, uh, cooperation. While nothing path-breaking seems on the cards, India and China seems to have opted for steady progress in their ties. So what can we expect from this visit by Manmohan Singh? Primarily, not very much, except for the border defense agreement, which while stating the right things may not really lead to great success. Otherwise, the Indian side will make sure that the Chinese do not use the economy as a great wall of China and Indian products and goods actually get into China. But that too will remain to be seen. Srinjoy Chaudhary with Sandeep Budhimanya in Beijing for Times Now.